just hits. All yours. Spark and spark. Get some. Nice you over there. Bombs away, bombs away. Base obliterated. Ah, I'm dead. Friendly kill. Damn it. Hey, ejection seats. Nice. Ah, right, hello there, Spark here. And after receiving a lot of questions and comments on the previous video on how to make custom kill messages, I decided to make a follow-up video with the Laroyal update. I'm also hoping that this time around, this video will be useful and helpful to you guys so you can now make your own custom text messages. Alright, let's begin this video. Let's start from the top. Go to War Thunder's main directory by right clicking on the desktop shortcut <laughs> and select open file location. Now if you don't have a shortcut and you use Steam to access your files in your Steam library, right click on War Thunder and click on properties. Go to Installed Files and click on Browse. In War Thunder's folder, if your config file looks like this, don't worry, it is still the same config file that I have. You just have your file extensions hidden. So let's do something to show the file extensions. So let's go to View and under Show, Check File Name Extensions. And there you have it. You can see the extensions of your files. There's another way to enable this. Click on these three dots and go to options. Now go to view and uncheck hide extensions for known file types. And now that's out of the way, let's open the config BLK. For me, it's gonna open with Visual Studio Code, but you can use Notepad if you don't have Visual Code. Now the goal is to have the lang folder appear so we can do our custom text messages. I already have the lang folder because I was testing this out earlier trying to find the issues that people are having. So for this video, I will delete this lang folder and demonstrate how I do it again. And one more thing, if you're having trouble trying to open the config be okay, try right clicking on it and hover your mouse on open with. Here you will have choices. For me, it is notepad and visual studio code. If those didn't appear, Try clicking on choose another app and search for the notepad there. Now for this part of the video, some people are missing their debug lines in their config be okay. Let's move our config file to the desktop so that War Thunder can create a new one. And now let's run War Thunder so it can start creating a new config be okay for us. Well, I guess it's working because my settings are gone now. As you can see, War Thunder just created the new config be okay for us. Let's open it up. Let's see what it has. It's empty. Okay, let's try something else. Let's start War Thunder and see if War Thunder fills this up. All right, let's go back to the desktop now. Well, I, ah, there we go. Looks like the config file is back with lines in it. And now we have the debug line here again. Now, since that's working in our fresh config be okay, we're gonna copy the lines needed to make the lang folder appear. So let's copy the lines and paste them inside the debug lines. I will just copy the lines from my old config be okay and paste it to the newly created config be okay. All right, let's copy and enter, paste. Now, in my previous video, there are quotation marks before and after the lines. Make sure those are not included. You also have to make sure that it is inside the curly brackets like this. Now, this should work now. Or right, I'm going to delete the lang folder now again. And let's run the game. You can actually see War Thunder creating the lang folder there. Yep, it's working. All right, you know the drill. Let's go back to desktop. Now let us begin in creating our custom kill messages. Let's open a menu.csv 
And let's search for target destroyed. Uh, hold on a minute. I do remember there's there was a comment. There we go. That's the comment. He can't find the target destroyed lines. Okay, let's let's figure this out. All right, we already searched target destroyed, and there we go. I can see the kill messages and also the scouted messages. Now, for you, good sir, you need to search for the exp underscore reasons slash kill gm. Oh yeah. Uh, but before we continue doing our custom kill messages, we're gonna switch to Notepad because I am pretty sure most of you are using Notepad or Notepad++. So yeah, here we go. So target destroyed. Let's search for that again. Target destroyed. There we go. You got the first target destroyed, which is the kill messages. And the other one is for the scouted target destroyed. Now for the actual kill messages, you need to search for the exp underscore reasons slash kill underscore gm. This is the text message when you destroyed a ground vehicle. So we're just gonna put a random text here for you guys. I know it's really messy, everything is cluttered, but yeah, this is the file. I don't know how to make this more pleasant to the eyes. So yeah, for aircraft destroyed, it is under the lines exp underscore reason slash kill so let's call this if this works subscribed now we're just gonna change some more lines for takeoff we landing let's say nice landing and of course critical hit i'm gonna call this hmm all right, I'm going to call it spark at this part. And hit is going to be. Hmm. Can't think of something. All right, I think this is good. Let's save the file and test it out in War Thunder. All right, let's try it out. Well, a quick side note. I really love the tornado. I still haven't got this plane. This is nice flight. <laughs> Gaijin! Where's my Gaijin partnership? Alright, we're gonna fox to this MiG-15. Fox to. If this is working... If this works, subscribe! Alright, let's hit our ground target. There we go. It is working. Yep. Let's try out the... Okay, let's try this again, but with the ground vehicle. Hmm, yep. Hits, it's working. Yep, it is working. Hmm, yep, it's working. Let's try and get a critical hit. Alright, I guess that's it for this video. I hope it is useful this time around. But before we end the video, here's a quick rundown to what you need to do to enable or to be able to create your custom kill messages. First, make sure the test localization B equals yes doesn't have any quotation marks in it. And make sure it is inside the curly brackets of the debug line. And if your debug line is missing, delete or move your config BLK somewhere else. And then run War Thunder. It will make a new config BLK and check if the debug line is there now. And if you cannot see your file extensions for the config file, all you need to do is go down to the view tab of your file manager and enable file name extensions. There are also some people who are unable to open their config file. For that, you have to right click on the config BLK and choose open with. There you will have options, notepad or any applications that can view this file. For me, it is Visual Studio Code. If this is empty, try choosing another app and search for the notepad there. I also forgot to mention earlier that every time War Thunder updates the game, you got to redo everything for the custom kill messages. Because if not, it's gonna cause some text issues in the game. I don't have any screenshots here because I don't have internet. 
All right, that's it for this video. But sadly, I won't be able to upload this as soon as possible. Today is July 4th. 4th of July. Wait a minute. 4th of July. Huh. Happy Independence Day, guys. That's hard to say. Oh, yeah. I wanted to upload this video as soon as possible, but our internet is down. Yeah. Talk about timing, huh? But if the video is up now on the same day, it means... The problem is solved. Anyway, yeah, that's it for this video. I would like to give a quick shout out to our Patreon supporters for this month. Sniper, Blue MP5, Eggboy, and Atlas. Thank you guys so much for the support. And if you guys find this video helpful, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and see you on the next one. Always take care.